Hey guys, it's me, Dave. Um, I think it's uh, the 26th of June, 2022. Um, so I thought I'd do a little video. There's all kinds of things going through my mind right now. Okay, now, we are targets, but, you know, I wish we could do things that normal people do. You know, I wish we could travel, have fun, have a partner, and travel with our partner, and travel, you know, whatever our situation is, I wish we could make it better. You know, um, I, I get this from watching videos on YouTube. <laughs> you know, um, you're watching these van life people, people who travel all over the country and they live in the vehicles and all this stuff well you know I, you know the thing is is i might be one of these people i might be forced into living in into a vehicle you know so i went to craigslist i read i went to craigslist tonight you know i was looking around craigslist for conversion vans i found this sweet this sweet, it's a Ford. I'm not into Ford, you guys. I'm not. I'm a Chevy guy. I'm not into Ford. I found this sweet Ford, four by four conversion van for nine grand. You could go anywhere in that sucker. It had like 30, 33 inch tires on it. Thing was sweet, man. You know, I could take my dogs and we could hit the road and get the hell out of here and get away from the perps. You know, this is just kind of uh, wishful thinking, you know, wishful thinking. You know, the thing is, is that we live in a crappy house, you guys. Um, this house needs work. You know, um, my relative is almost 80 years old. Where, where, where am I going to go if something happens to her? She goes into assisted living. She goes into gets apartment. Or, you know where where do I go? I don't have a place to go, you guys. I am on a waiting list for a part for an apartment. I I've been on a waiting list for an apartment since February of this year. You know, so it's like I got to think about my future. I got to think about I got Tanner. Tanner's only he's going to be three. This year, I got Max. Max is a little older. He's, he's eight or nine years old right now. You know, what if I end up on the street? I got to think about that. What if I end up on the street, you guys, from this targeting program? You know, you know, my relative makes good money, and she wants to buy a house. She can get approved for like two hundred thousand dollars for a house. She doesn't want to take me with, but you know I could camp in her yard. <laughs> you know I could camp in her yard for a little while until I find a place. You know it's a very uh, sad situation. Um, you know, uh, you know, and that's where we're at. I'll tell you, you want to know the truth. The truth is, they're not going to let her buy a house. They're not going to let her buy a house. They are not going to let her sell this house. They're not going to do it. They want to, they want to keep us both here, like, held hostage. You know, they want to keep us both here, in this house forever i'll tell you something the foundation needs work the kitchen needs work we have leaks in the roof that needs work you know they're not gonna let her buy a house you know so you know it's like if if something happened to her i'd be out on the street i gotta be pre be pre prepared for that you know what do i do what do i do if I end out on the street, I got to be prepared. You know, what do I do? Do I buy a conversion van to move into? You know, to move into because I don't know what's going to happen to us. 
You know, I got, I got, I got two dogs. I got to take care of. She has three dogs to take care of. You know, um, you know, I'm 49 years old. You guys, uh, my relative is gonna turn 78 years old, and she's still working full time. You know, she's healthy, she's working full-time and everything else. But things can change. What do we do if we're in a situation where we have to move? I don't make enough money to keep this house up. You know, my truck will be paid off next year. And then I'm going to work on my credit cards and all that stuff. You know, we are in a tough situation, both of us. They want to keep us here. They want to hold us hostage in this house. They don't want us to move. So we got to start fixing up this house a little bit. You know, we got a crack foundation. We got some roof problems. We got, we got a few little problems. The kitchen needs a new floor and all this stuff. You know, um... We got to make this house a little better because they're not going to let us move. They're not going to let us move. You know, uh, my relative makes good money. She has excellent credit and everything else. And she can get approved for a house, uh, for a $200,000 house, you know, and, and stuff. And they won't let us move. They won't let us move. Uh, they won't let her buy a house. They won't let her sell her house. You know, we have realtors coming here and all this stuff. And they're like, oh, give us a call back when you clean it up. Oh. Um, it's all set up, you guys. They won't let us sell this house. They want us here forever. They want us living in the perp neighborhood forever. So what happens? Someday we're going to have to move. You know, someday I'm going to have to move. This isn't going to last forever. Someday I'm going to have to move and I don't know where to go. Where, where am I going to go? I got an S10 ZR2. I got a ZR2 S10 pickup. Four wheel drive. Where are we going to go? Where am I going to go for with my two dogs? You know? It, it, it's so stupid. I can't. I can't. Where am I going to go? Tanner is afraid of riding the pickup. You know, where, where, if something happened, where would we go? I'm trying to prepare myself. So I'm looking at conversion vans on, on uh, Craigslist for sale. You know, I could afford them. You know, there's, there's a kick-ass, a kick-ass four by four conversion van it's a ford the thing is sweet you know for nine grand you know we could live in that you know we could head south and live in that you know you know it's just it scares me it scares me you guys you know we're you know we're in this house that needs a ton of work and and all this stuff and i gotta elderly relative that is working her ass off and she wants to buy a house in the country and everything else well i don't know if that's gonna happen you know it scares the hell out of me i don't want to be homeless you guys i want to have a place to go you know i want to have a place to go so do i buy a do i buy a motorhome do i buy a conversion van do i have buy something where we have a place to go and we can head south in warmer weather because I'm in northern Minnesota, you guys. It's scary. It's scary out there. You know, um, you know, I'm I'm fixing my truck right now. It needs a master cylinder. Okay. Now I got the new master and I gotta I gotta get a bolt a, a nut for the master cylinder because I lost one and all this stuff. You know, um, you guys may maybe be able to relate to this, okay? So, I got two 
older brothers and they got an older sister okay now okay so i i'm the second to the youngest okay so you know you you got older brothers and older sisters and everything else and they they still act like you don't know anything you don't know nothing you're uneducated you you don't know anything okay you know it's funny because I was watching this guy on YouTube, and, and he's like 70 years old. And he's like, I'm at my little brother's house and all this stuff. And, you know, we are always the little brother. We're the little brother that doesn't know anything. You know, they, they still treat us like the little brother that doesn't know anything. You know. Well, we, we know more than they think we know. You know, I just thought that was funny. I would bring it up. Um, if you're a middle child or you're the second to the youngest or whatever, your older siblings think that you know nothing. <laughs> you know, and they think you know nothing. You know nothing about cars. You don't know nothing about work. You don't know nothing about anything. You know, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, this guy was 70 years old. He's like, I'm in my little brother's house, <laughs> you know, which is probably, he's probably in his 60s, but he's still the little brother. You know, he's still the little brother. And my brothers teach, te they treat me like that. You know, I don't know anything. I'm just, I'm just a stupid little brother. You know, and that's the way they treat us. You know, it's hard being the younger child, you guys, um, because our older si siblings um, think we know nothing. You know, but uh, that has nothing to do with Target. I just thought I'd mention that. You know, so what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We gotta find a plan, you guys. We gotta find a plan when we're Ti. Life is uncertain. We gotta find a damn plan. To make sure we're safe and we're not living in a tent in the middle of nowhere. You know, we got to find a plan. Because they will turn this stuff up, you guys. And try to make us homeless and everything else. We got to come up with a plan. You know, living, you know, living in a vehicle. You know, people do it. You know, we, we have to be prepared for this stuff. You know, so that's what I'm talking about tonight. You gotta be prepared. Uh, it's, it's horse crap, you guys. Makes me sick to my stomach. Um. Anyway, um, I'm gonna cut this off. I'll talk to you guys later.